In this video, I will try to resolve a problem of losing attributes when you convert a KML file to SAFE file. So nowadays, many a times you will find that people are sharing SAFE files in the form of KML only because it is easy to share. I am having this SAFE file and it's having these many fields in the attribute table. Now suppose if I am converting it to KML for sharing. So you have to go to conversion tool, then to KML and layer to KML. I am getting it and saving it as a suppose test KML one and click OK. Now you are double clicking it; it will open in the Google Earth. Now, if you are clicking here, you will find all those attributes. But if you are reconverting it, this KML file to layer, then see what happens. I am converting this same KML file to shape file now. So, open and I will save it as as test KML two, and then click OK. So now, this is the shape file generated from converting the KML file. Now you open the attribute table of this shape file. You will find all the attributes which were present in the present in this shape file is not there in this shape file. But in on Google Earth you can still visualize all those attributes. So what happens actually? These are shared in form of see, HTML. I have not come across any solution in RGS for this. Like suppose you want that from KML, you get save file, and you should not lose all the attributes present in the KML. So for that, uh, I will discuss uh, three solutions here in this video. One is QGIS. If you are normally importing the KML file in QGIS, just go to vector, and then get this KMZ one. Click open and add. So it will ask which polygon I want to open this polygon. Then click add layers and close. So normally it will also not show the show your attributes. But there is a plugin in this QGIS. With that we can get all those attributes here. So go to plugin, manage and install plugin, and then you will find a plugin that is KML Tools. Since I have already installed it, if you have not installed this plugin, you just go there and type KML, and you have to install it. So once installed, you just click check this box and close it. Now you will see. There is a HTML expand HTML description field. Just click here. Get this input layer. Leave everything as default, and then click OK. It is asking these many fields are there. Which one you want to all? If you want all, you have to check select all. Click OK. Now, if, if you are going to attribute table of this file. You will find all those attributes appended here. Now you can save it as a save file. Just right-click here, export, and save feature as. So I'm saving here as test two and format you have select as easy save file. This is default one, and then click OK. Now this test to go to attribute table and you will find all those attributes there. And obviously you can delete all these fields if you don't want. The second option is global mapper. Now this uh, this software is not open source. You have to purchase it. But trial version you can use for 14 days. So I have I am having this trial version of this software. So just we have to open data. Suppose I am opening this data and click. Open. 
So this is there. Now, just you have to save it as a save file like layer export to new file. And it is asking the export format. So by default it will be save file. You click OK. Now since you are having only polygon features, so only the export area is highlighted. If you are having all three features in a single KML, all three will be highlighted and you have to save all three save files separately. So I have to select this area and suppose I am naming it global maple shape. Now you see the attribute setup. So it's having all these attributes. You can remove some if you want. Like suppose I don't want this KML style in KML folder. You can remove attribute click yes and then click ok some of those save files are there you can see it see gmshp now open the attribute table you will find all those fields are there now the third option is if you are if you are not interested in having QGIS or global mapper, there is one online tool to convert your KML to save and it will have all the attributes which are there in the original KML file. So just go to mygeodata.cloud converter KMJ to SHP. Just you have to browse your data, add file, suppose this one. then continue it now it has converted your save file and you have to output format you have to select it is this save file and this just convert now you have to click and then download it So this is the downloaded file, I am extracting it, now you can see this file, open attribute table and you will see all fields are there. So this is how you can preserve all the attributes while converting a KML or KMZ file to save file. I have shown you three tools here. One is in QGIS. This is open source. One is global mapper. You have to pay for it. And another is online tool. So thank you for watching.